As of right now, each municipality in the Niagara region does its own thing when it comes to buses. Niagara Regional Council wants to change that and voted in favor of having one integrated system across the region. Honestly, I think it would be a great idea. It sounds like a good plan. Regional Chair Jim Bradley thinks so too. That's a huge decision by the Niagara region. Probably as important a decision as this term of council will make. Niagara will be much more connected. Bradley says the purpose would be to streamline the transit system so that bus schedules mesh across the region. It will cost $46 million, but he says that's the total of what municipalities pay now running their own separate systems. We're uploading that from the local municipalities. Bradley says current transit employees may see some restructuring. But because you're going to enhance the service in this particular case, we don't anticipate any job losses or any significant job losses at all. Many transit users here at the St. Catharines bus terminal say they travel all around the Niagara region and think that an amalgamated transit system would be beneficial. So getting out to Port Colborne, Fort Erie is actually quite difficult because some cities don't have that bus route to get out there. Sometimes the schedule of the buses uh, don't combine and then I have to wait an hour to get the other one. We're kind of confused on what bus to get on to go to Niagara because we were on the St. Catharines buses, so we're trying to figure that out. But it's not a done deal just yet. Now each local council in the region needs to vote on it. Out of the 12 municipalities, at least seven need to approve it in order for riders to see an amalgamated system by 2023. Kelly Batello, CHCH News.